I always say that's the, the worst thing about racism. It wastes our time. pandemic started I actually didn't mind the rest <laughs> have you ever been so embarrassed your hearing shuts off as far as comedy I am pleasantly just surprised to and pleased that I don't miss it that much I'm okay with taking a break yes I do comedy and I look like this you're welcome, you're welcome. this is a, a time where everyone is just like doing a lot of self-reflecting in X-Men, you know when Magneto just walks out over open air and a bridge forms <laughs> under his feet? That's white privilege. This period has been like a needed period of rest for me. Like Chappelle say, sometimes you don't want to hear from us. I think at first nobody was sure how like... How long? Yeah, how long is it? <laughs> We're coming on the air now with breaking news and the killing of George Floyd, who died on Memorial Day. Protests across the country over the last nine days. I say it made everybody sit still. And that's why when the George Floyd situation happened, you couldn't run from it. It just opened everybody up because everybody was at home sitting still. It seemed like almost every week a new person getting shot by the cops or, or, or you know, a, a new black man being shot. And so this particular one wasn't that different. It's just that we had to pay attention because we have nothing else to do. I feel like this period has been like a needed period of rest for me and reassessment and just like rethinking and re-educating myself. I just wanted to say that it was, this is a time where everyone is just like doing a lot of self-reflecting. And even though self-reflecting is um, positive, a lot of us, we have untreated men mental illness. And for me, I wanted to just focus on making sure I'm taking care of myself. Like, when black people have life, ever had time for self-care? That's This is yeah. extraordinary to me. We have exactly. Never I've always been talking about this in my act. It's not like, oh, now I have to pivot and talk about something else and I'm losing out on that on that chance. I've always been talking about it. As a black entertainer, you feel like, oh, it is my job. It is my job to speak on everything and create it at the same time and take care of my family and take care of everybody around me and be this strong, powerful person when it's like, no, this is a moment of like weakness for everybody. And it's okay to be honest about like, no, I need help, I cannot be this this activist i can't be this strong black woman yeah. <laughs> yeah i basically have been sitting here like not necessarily thinking about whether or not i do create but just trying to be more selective and just reassessing my values about what i make i guess the specifics of like the comedy i'm trying to do doesn't really matter to me anymore it's like i'm just it's just joke still but just like the structures around what i'm doing like thinking about like the structures around like where and how we do comedy. Why are like non-performers deciding who gets a platform to speak on stage and all this stuff? Like I was just saying a few days ago, like a booker had told me that my jokes were too black versus white to be on late night. And then within a year, the, the host was apologizing for doing blackface. I'm like, why is that the person deciding that I get to speak? Whether or not I get to speak, you know what I'm saying? And also feeling like, damn, did does my word matter? Like, is there anything that I can do? I would like donate my money. I, I can't go to the protest. That's just not, that's not me. But I feel like I can help in other ways. I go to these rallies and I speak all the time. It's some about comics, man. We know how to deliver truth better than anybody, even if it's not funny. We still know how to deliver. I say that I'm proud of a lot of the comedians. I'm actually very surprised at how many insanely intelligent comedians that are out here. It ain't just Chappelle, it's a lot of random comics. Everybody who is a comedian who's like, oh, I want to do this special, and I need to be on this list, and I need to do that, and every, all of that is done right now. Like, everybody has to sit down, nothing, nobody knows anything at the moment, and it really just turns into like, well, what is really making me happy and what makes me me? Because if I can't be on stage for whatever amount of months, does that mean I'm not a comedian anymore? You know, does it? Can I not be funny? It's funny to look back on Black art and find out that we've been talking about the same over and over. You know, to watch old stand-up, to watch old movies. We've been talking about police brutality. We've been talking about inequality. 
forever. So maybe it's a time machine, you know, in, in, in some ways of showing that uh, we've always been aware. Other people haven't been paying attention. You got the protest arguing with white people with it because they used to all lives matter. It's like, no, black lives matter. And they're thinking it was, thinking because we said black lives matter, it was a, we, we was trying to act like black people were more important, which is so weird. Feels like now, I'm not saying everybody, but you know, just being out there now, what makes me a little hopeful is that like, uh, they, they're starting to understand that. Yeah, I'm glad to see so many white people at the protest. That's ex excellent. Not even, not even yeah. just, at, not there, but saying black lives yeah. matter. Because yeah. that is the key to changing all of it in our nation is just recognizing that, hey, could y'all just admit to all the crazy that you've done to us the whole right. time to right. stop this country from moving forward. It is the big yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to yeah. say that it, I, I think that a lot of it is performative though. A lot of them are definitely, they feel like they're bullied into what is going on right now. Whatever it takes is what I say. Good. Yeah. Get out there. Get yeah. out there, stand in, performatively stand in the front. <laughs> get, them, get them tear gas canisters right to the face and experience. I feel like even if you're going out there performatively, once you experience how they treat us and how we're being treated for protesting, you might come back on some on some different levels. So whatever gets you out there to figure out what yeah. the truth is, because a lot of people are shocked that they're running over and killing white people as well. They never mm -hmm. thought it would be them. I always say that's the, the worst thing about racism. It wastes, it wastes our time. Yep. But yeah. We, yeah. We have to worry about other people's feelings about us so it stops us from living our life. And that's very yeah. infuriating and puts the added stress of the human. We already have to deal with the stress of the human existence. And then on top of it, <laughs> you know, for example, I have been looking for a getaway in this whole corona thing, which lots of white people are doing. They're taking to the roads, they're getting an RV, da da da. I'm worrying about where I can go that's safe from corona and also white people. I think this is what the fight is for now. Is just you. I think about my children. I just want them to be able to exist without labels, where well, they can just be whoever they want to be. And just, right. like, you know, just because of this, I can't exist, right? Because right. I put in some type of body. Like even we, even in success, you worry. About, I I should not be worried about the same exact thing. Yeah. Like especially if you come out the hood and all that, and then you. I still worry about the same exact thing happening to me that was happening when I was growing up. Let's be okay with putting out just more diverse content that just show just different types of black people. And I think the more we do like that, the more hopefully we're just looked at just as Americans and where, you know, your shows don't have to be about a black family. I don't have to call my show blackish or black. -ish. It should just be whatever this family is. And we just happen to be a family that's on television that just happened to be black. I know I'm focused on um, just putting out the right content. Um, also to hiring the right people in our production. I know white guild is at an all time high. So I've taken advantage of that. And nobody's arguing with me. They let me pick who I want. And I don't know how long that's gonna last. I feel like the value of art is to paint a picture of what is possible. So I feel like the power of film is to show uh, a world where black people are just living their lives and not even thinking about white people or what they can do to white people or white women and all this or painting a picture of a world where we're not living our lives based on these hierarchies in our workspaces where even if you do have a black showrunner you still got a white network above him we still don't have the power to green light our own things for me it's important to like think about what black people can be as opposed to what I've seen them be for my entire life. You know what I'm saying? We should be able to think and have whatever perspective with, with regardless of what we look like. I just want to put out stuff that like maybe someone who's younger than me that thought that it wasn't possible to say, oh, I see that. But I do think me creating something for white people to feel good no, I, I like, it's not necessarily something that like I am trying to do. This is for me to feel good about like what I want to laugh at and the people around me, my community, the comedians that I enjoy. I don't think me putting out content is a, is an act of protest. Can I answer that? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, please, please. I disagree with Sydney in that she everything she is she's doing is a form of protest. The fact that you exist in this space as a gay black woman and you're out about it and you're just speaking and making a living doing your art is a form of protest. This is something that is very new. Your existence, our existence is a form of protest. The fact that you're doing something that makes yourself happy is a form of protest. Those are, these are things that we never had the option or ability to do. Nobody's making for white people. They come as they come. But your existence and your art and the fact that you're pursuing something that was previously like a wisp of a, <laughs> of a dream is, is, is a form of protest. And I think it's proven in the fact that your very existence makes people mad. There's people that are mad that you exist in how, in how you are. So this is where <laughs> black people have been trying to get forever to a place of peace where we do what we want and do things that make us happy also for money, which is what white people yeah. have been doing since they, you know, brought us here. I'm just going to continue to be myself, which I think is subversive and again, an act of protest in that I am a black woman in America who is happy 